Number 5. When a blue car pulls up and a couple steps out, the gas station clerk notices something is wrong. The woman walks far ahead of the man, almost like he doesn't trust her enough to let her out of his sight, and they immediately go to the ATM to make a large cash withdrawal. At the counter, they continue to stand a wide distance apart, which looks suspicious since friends would be closer. The man seems relaxed, but the woman stands straight and looks very tense. They are just about to leave when the clerk tells the woman to stop. She freezes in the doorway and the clerk puts himself between the two. He can tell the woman is in distress at this point and tells her to go back into the store, which she does. Meanwhile, the man outside looks like he is going to pull something out of his jacket and then drives away instead. As it turns out, the clerk was correct to stop them. The woman was being held captive and being driven from ATM to ATM in the middle of the night. The clerk was smart to wait until she was out of his reach before confronting the man. You come by bed, bed. I help you, no problem. If he had waited for police, the two would have been long gone before any help arrived. Number 4. When a man enters a gas station and demands money, he finds himself greatly outnumbered by a swarm of angry customers. All it takes is one brave bystander to rush him and the rest follow suit, grabbing whatever they can to neutralize the man until authorities arrive. This video shows that we are all becoming braver and more prepared for these kinds of events as a society. Less people would try and do this if they knew it would form an angry mob. So maybe a group defense is the right tactic. Of course, if nobody else joins in, then you've just effectively made yourself the next target. Number 3. A YouTube channel called Sailing Latitude is boating around the Italian island of Sardinia when a freak lightning storm breaks overnight, forcing them into survival mode. They try to outrun the storm at first, but the winds are much too strong and soon lightning is breaking directly overhead. Aside from getting zapped, a single bolt would be enough to fry their navigation equipment and leave them completely stranded at sea. The experienced navigator is able to visually estimate two areas where lightning is striking the most, and they sail between these two areas skillfully. In other words, they basically have no choice but to steer between two storms, and in doing so, they almost get trapped in the storm multiple times, like here at 10 minutes and 15 seconds for example. To make matters worse, the winds could change at moment's notice and bring the storm clouds even closer. Somehow they just barely managed to sail through the little pocket of clear weather, well flanked between two storms. Hours later, a calm sunrise greets them, as if it was all just a bad dream. Number 2. An Uber driver is taking home two passengers when a car they have never seen before overtakes them on the left and then puts on the brakes. Before anyone has the chance to make sense of the situation, the other driver is already hurrying over. He taps on the window and orders the Uber driver to get out of his car, which makes the passengers panic. What's going on? I don't know. What's that? You blew the right leg. Get the out of the car right Just go, just go, 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 go. Just go, just go, go, go around. Thinking fast, the Uber driver takes the right course of action by not getting out of his vehicle, driving away instead. They manage to escape and are ready to forget about the whole incident when they see his high beams on them again. That's when they make the second smart decision and get the police on the phone. Call 911. Make a oh left here. Make a, yeah, left, make here. a left. Make a left here. Our car is following us. And he bangs on the window and says, get out of the car to the driver. Eventually, they get pulled over and explain everything to an officer, who proceeds to speed away after dispatching a description of the vehicle to all other units. It's hard for him to open the doors because they don't know how to open the door with the Tesla. That's good. So that actually works. Okay, so see, now that's another Did he benefit. try to open the yes, door? Yes, yes. Oh my god. Yes. The car that was chasing them is still nearby, and the driver is charged with being under the influence. Kudos to the driver for keeping his passengers safe and not responding with aggression himself. Had he gotten out of the car and into an altercation, he could have been charged with something or made the situation worse. Before